You've spoken a lot of, in a lot of interviews about your um, meditating and spiritual life, and I meditate also, yeah. and um, you meditate. I do. But I was not asked to speak at the Dalai Lama's um, birthday, and I was curious like how that came about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's me knocking foreheads with the Dalai Lama, which was really an incredible <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm friends with one of the people who was organizing this, and she asked me to um, speak for his 80th birthday, and I got to um, prepare some remarks, not long, but it was um, really extraordinary. I mean, I, there, were <laughs> it was, there were so many people there. It was, like a it was like a comically large arena of people. In Anaheim, Yeah, right? yeah. And, um, and I got to say these words, and then I turned around, and he was approaching me, and it was, it was like, like, I don't know, like I was on a conveyor belt, like I don't remember what happened, but I just like was coming towards him. <laughs> and the next yeah. thing he kno I know, my, our foreheads were touching, and time stopped, and I felt like, <laughs> and my friend actually said, I have a stupid question, but like I want you to answer it. I said, well, he goes, what did his forehead feel like? <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I remember, it was the perfect temperature. Like it was what like perfect. Like what it is felt the like perfect temperature for a forehead? Well, you know, you remember, you know, when your mom would like put her head on your head to check if you had a temperature. Did she? Your, no, uh, no, but no okay. one. Ever. Oh. <laughs> My mom would. She would touch and then she would go like that. But it was like it was clear he didn't have a fever. It was like ninety-seven. What's a temperature okay. that you were supposed to be? No, yeah. Yeah, he was like right in the zone. Wow.